Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is part program for turning operation. Turn a component to reduce the diameter from 44 to 40 mm over the length of 70 mm. In this case, the material to be removed is 4 mm on diameter as we have to reduce from 44 to 40 mm that means 2 mm on radius. We will do this in two passes. First pass we will go on diameter 44 to 42 mm and then in second pass from 42 mm to 40 mm. Okay. So for the first you can consider as rough machining and second you can consider as final machining. But first we have to face the component. Okay. The first operation will be facing then the first pass and the second pass. Okay. Let us do this operation and put the tool sequence what we will be doing first we will get the tool from its machine home position we will call that machine home position as a then we will reach near the job but we will be positioning our tool 2 mm away from the face okay so the next step we will bring the tool to the face and then we will do the facing operation and while doing the facing operation we will move the tool from center to D okay so after that this facing is done we will remove this particular material from here so that the diameter now becomes from 44 to 42 the first is it is 2 mm away okay and then 2 mm away so this here on this axis we will count z and from this side we will count x so now here at this particular point x is equal to 0 and z equal to 2 when it comes to c your x equal to 0 and z is also 0 then it moves to d where your x is 42 and z is 0 okay then the material is removed and when the tool moves from d to e it moves in negative direction because positive is on the right side so negative side so it will move minus 70 and reach e once it reach e then it goes to a position f where so that it goes away from the job for some time okay then after f it comes to position g which is 2 mm away from the face so that the final pass is done then it goes from g to h okay and then remove the material and the final diameter becomes 40 mm so let us see how this is done so the first we will form one tabulation where we will write all the position which we just now discussed a b c d e f g h i so a is the machine home position then the second position is b second position is b where the workpiece and the tool there is a gap of 2 mm so we have positioned the tool 2 mm away okay and this we are talking about 2 mm is on the z axis and for x axis the position is 0 okay then we move the tool to 0 0 position where x is also 0 and z is also 0 so now we have come to this particular position where z is also 0 because this is z and this is x so you had this position z is also 0 and x is also 0 then next position we go to d where x is 42 and z is 0 okay and then once it goes to position d then it is moved towards left so that the material is removed and the diameter becomes from 44 to 42 once the material is removed it is taken to a position f which is away from the job that's why the dimension 46 is taken so that because the final job or the starting job was 44 so we have taken a dimension of 46 and 2 mm 
away on the z axis so for x axis 46 and z axis 2 mm so after the machining operation first pass when it reaches e then it goes to f a position which is away from the job then it comes back to g okay where the x position okay x coordinate is 40 and z is 2 mm because it is 2 mm away okay then it goes to position h so that the tool move towards left side and minus 70 is the dimension of the job that means material is removed throughout the length okay and once this is done the tool goes to a position i which is a position very very far from the job so that once the job is done we have to remove it and there will be a lot of movement that's why the tool has gone to a position 80 50 so now let us discuss the programming part so the program the first line is the program number which you can assign any number then the sequence number n110 and then we are defining g90 g21 g94 which means absolute mode and this input is in mm and the feed is in mm per minute and this is end of block then the second sequence m03 means the spindle start clockwise direction and here we have assumed the spindle speed as 800 then m08 means we have coolant on the end of block g00 means we are bringing tool rapidly from the position aa where a is the machine home position then x0 because the tool will come and rest to a position which is far only 2 mm away from the face that's why z is 2 but x is 0 okay so the position of the tool is now at b so it comes and now the tool is at b then we decide to do the facing operation so sequence n140 g01 and z0 so that we are bringing the tool to the face of the job and we have defined f is equal to 200 and end of block so now we are doing facing operation that's why the tool has brought to the face of the job now x42 so that the tool can move away from the center to the dimension 42 so that the tool reaches the position d so from c position the now tool has moved to d position and now after this we will do the turning operation so that the material is removed from the diameter so now after that the facing operation is done now for turning we will move the tool towards left side that's why z is equal to minus 70 and the turning operation takes place and now the diameter will become 42 mm for the length of 70 mm and the tool will be now at the position e okay so now the tool will reach from d to e once it's reached from d to e then it will go to a position f which is away from the job like 2 mm away from the face and the diameter which is 44 so we have taken the f as 46 so that it is away from the too much away from the job so once that is done f position then we will again come to the position g so that's why we have said g01 which is linear movement then x40 so that we come for the second pass and then feed we have defined as 200 and this is end of block so now the job the position of the tool is for g so now your tool is at g and now you can define your turning operation so that this material is removed and your tool reaches h that's why you have mentioned n 190 and z is equal to minus 70 so that the turning takes place and the material is removed from the diameter and now the job becomes 40 mm for the length of 70 mm okay now once the turning operation is done and job has become 40 mm now you will move the tool very very far from the 
job that's why you have defined x equal to 80 and z equal to 50 here you have written g00 so that there will be rapid travel of the tool away from the job then at the end you say g28 which is rapid return to machine reference point m05 that is spindle to stop m09 coolant becomes off and m30 that the program end and the tape rewinds please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching